from the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC Chief Meteorologist Ron Roberts. Yeah, let's get to it. Thunderstorms right now. We're watching this one here. Uh, this is Demet. There is a very intense thunderstorm that is uh, a warning out of our viewing area, actually. It's more into the Amarillo area, but it is beginning to look like it's trying to move east or southeast. But let's, uh, let's go from it to the sky view we have in Demet. This is a new sky view in Demet. It just so happens that DG and the strike unit is there. DG, I'm hazed out looking at Skyview. What are you seeing? We've got, uh, well, the storm, uh, as you say, it's just out of our viewing area, but it's very impressive. We've got uh, what we believe to be a well-defined wall cloud with a possible funnel. Um, we've been watching it for the last 10, 12 minutes, and it's been cycling off and on. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely trying to get its act together. I know the concern that you shared with me earlier was that this may be a possible right turner. Right. Um, and as far as anything in the panhandle, this is this is the big show, and we're on it, Ron. All right, DG, stay with it, because we do think it may turn to the right. And for you at uh, home, when storms are going one direction, east, turn to the right, sometimes they can get pretty rough. DJ, you've seen that happen before. We did. In fact, we saw that last year uh, in Tahoka. And uh, again, in the panhandle, I guess a year ago, last week, we had the Tahoka tornado. We had several tornadoes here in the Texas Panhandle around Tulia. And, uh, and of course, everybody knows what happened uh, 50 years ago today in Lubbock. No, no doubt about it. And your video, by the way, better than our sky view. Thanks for bringing that up. because uh, that, And that's Anthony. We have this incredible director and production crew that helps us do this. But there's your thunderstorm as well. We can see the outline of it. DG, it is very crisp. Uh, updrafts uh, indicating it's still growing. Uh, by your view, so keep uh, an eye on that for us, okay? Will do, Ron. All right, thunderstorm again, now increasing to the southwest of La Mesa. Uh, that's in the area under a severe thunderstorm watch. Uh, one, two, three thunderstorm cells around Tohoka. Uh, they're not severe yet, but just in case you're going south. And these, by the way, <laughs> very close uh, to the extreme southern half of the Lubbock metro area. So they're getting very close to the city and may continue to form over the city. But the bottom line is what we're really looking for is, and this is the Demet Life sky view again, uh, what we're looking for are those thunderstorms in New Mexico. And, and Jacob's going to pull that back up. But there's your severe thunderstorm watch until midnight for the southern half of the area. Uh, I will tell you that if we get more uh, storms forming to the west of us, more than likely they'll, it pushes up a little bit. But here's the deal. The storms in New Mexico, like this guy right here, south of Bertalis, all right? Here are several. This one here, west of Roswell, New Mexico. These are increasing in intensity as they turn to the right and be these right-turning storms go to the southeast. They got the flow going into them. They can produce a lot of severe weather. That's where Kyle is, and Kyle Graves is in the Morton area watching this thunderstorm now beginning to push into Bailey County as it moves southeast. What are we talking about with these storms tonight? The thing that I want to talk about is the possibility of tornadoes are on the lower end of the threshold. I'm not ever going to say never, but the lower end. We're really talking about the possibility of some strong damaging wind gusts and hail to two inches diameter. That's what we're really talking about tonight. So make sure you have your vehicle in place of safety where the hail won't get to it and get ready for some wind. Here's what the forecast model is saying by eight o'clock between Littlefield and Plainview, something very close to the Metro Lubbock area. And so here we go, eight o'clock tonight. There's your thunderstorm still in the Metro Lubbock area as it continues to push southeast. Actually, this will go through our city. And as it does, it really intensifies, becomes an intense thunderstorm complex from post all the way across southeastern portions of uh, Lynn County. Now these are forecast models and they're not ever exact. Never ever. But they give us a great uh, tool, if you will, to see what we're going to be expecting the remainder of the evening and why we're going to keep an eye on this as the evening continues. So the severe weather outlook for the South Plains will continue. It's possible as these thunderstorms continue to increase to the north and west of us, there's a storm prediction center will issue a watch that will include the city of Lubbock. Again, a severe thunderstorm watch means some storms can produce hail to two inches in diameter, damaging thunderstorm wind gust. And there are your probabilities 
and their main threats, all right? Hail to two inches diameter, wind 60, maybe as high as 70 miles per hour. Boy, <laughs> I just wanted to pull this up just to let you see for yourself that the forecast models are really going crazy with the precipitation amounts, but localized, localized, I think we'll see some rainfall totals around an inch. Now we'll see the temperatures drop off because again, the hour by hour says by nine o'clock, thunderstorms will begin to move into the metro Lubbock area and that's going to drop the temperature. Now, as we move on to the seven day forecast and you can see the numbers yourself, the chance of thunderstorms again uh, as we get into Tuesday at 20%, mainly AM, it uh, warms up Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. But let me make something perfectly clear on this day, 50 years ago, that these storms tonight are not the same type of thunderstorm that hit Lubbock in 1970. That was a supercell thunderstorm that formed in a backing dry line, and the probabilities of that happening are so low, but it can happen, and it did 50 years ago. We're more concerned about the possibility of some hail doing some property damage and some heavy rainfall and very strong wind, okay? So we'll continue to watch this, and the possibility of a severe thunderstorm watch is with us tonight, and we'll, of course, keep you advised. KMAC News at 6 continues in just a minute.